Hi, and welcome to my channel, Overcoming Gluttony. My name is Alicia, and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I currently weigh 261 pounds, and on this channel, I vlog daily, and every week I show you what I've meal prepped, plus all of the food that I have in my household. And we also grow microgreens together. And these are organic fenugreek microgreens that we planted about nine days ago. The microgreens on the bottom are the ones that we soaked in water. For the seeds, we soaked them in water for about six hours before planting them. And the microgreens on the top are the seeds that we did not soak. So they're coming in fully. Not as full as these, but they're, they're coming along. So today, let's chit chat about allowing others to join your weight loss journey. I feel that it's very important that we set healthy yet strictly enforced boundaries with others as it pertains to our journey, okay? to our weight loss journey. Some of you out there are faced with some very large, challenging decisions, like are you going to have a surgery? Are you going to have part of your stomach removed? Are you going to make a rule where no junk food enters your home's front door? Due to heavily or heavy cultural influences that I believe most of us face, whether we're Asian, Black, Caucasian, mixed heritage, or whatever, we all have influences from our cultures regarding food. Some of us are prone to overeat while others are prone to undereat. Some of us are not encouraged to exercise ever and others of us are saturated with weight loss equipment and gym memberships and and whatnot. So None of our journeys are the same. Therefore, our boundaries with others who we decide, and I wanna emphasize that we decide who we will include in this journey will be different. My personal boundaries are, <sighs> I don't let everybody know everything I'm doing at this point. Many people don't know that I have a YouTube channel. Why? Because I don't want the criticism. I want to do this my way. I don't want to feel like I need to justify what I'm doing to other people. Also, I don't go into details about my eating habits because some people might get very concerned or offer unwanted advice. Those are some boundaries that I have. I also choose to share with other people, whether it be at my job or in my close relationships, that I am working on losing weight. Why do I share with them this information? because I might run into somebody else who's also trying to lose weight and we can be an encouragement to one another, but with boundaries. So I am very happy with the boundaries that I've set in my life regarding my health and who I allow to join my health journey. Are you happy with your boundaries? If not, let's figure out a way 
that you can become happier. Write down the things that you're unhappy about. And then we can come up with a creative way of finding a solution. But if we don't acknowledge the parts that are making us unhappy, and we continue to allow the bog of negative influences to taunt us, that can increase our chances of not being successful. So let's look at what boundaries we're not satisfied with write them down, and let's make a change together. So thank you so much for your time. I'd like to report to you that I was successful with doing my 2023 health goals. For breakfast, I did have four servings of raw vegetables as well as 60 ounces of water, and I did walk for an hour before going to work today. Um... I'm a little concerned because my work schedule is going to change and I'm like, eh, where am I going to fit in the exercise? So I'm a little nervous about that, but I'm determined. I have almost seven bonus hours of walking. So hours were at times when I had some spare time on my hands rather than just sit on my rear I chose to get up and walk, go for a walk, until the next part of my schedule needed to be completed. So that has helped me to accumulate almost seven hours of bonus walking that I can use for if I'm sick or for whatever reason unable to exercise that day. I would like to read to you a poem that I wrote. It is called... Behold, pretty mama, all things are new. Behold, pretty mama, all things are become new. Hey, pretty lady, let me tickle your ear. Your salvation is coming. In fact, he's already here. Lift up your chin and put a smile on your face. Look at how far you've come. You're going to win this race. The past is behind you, so leave it alone. When you hear it ringing, don't pick up the phone. Leave depression and despair in hell where they belong. Rejoice in your Savior. Sing him a new song. There's no time to reminisce about all the bad. Nor should you worry about the future. Leave that to Dad. He's proud of you and what you're learning to be. You're too hard on yourself. Hey, listen to me. Despite what your thoughts tell you, you're beautiful, worthwhile, and smart. The media has got it all wrong. You're the work of art. You were fabulously made. God created you in the image of him. Satan burdens you because he wants your light to dim. So continue to press forward. Don't stagger your pace. The victory is already yours. Put a smile on that face. Okay, so maybe this poem wasn't enough. But guess what, pretty mama? This road is going to stay tough. So slick back your hair and put your boxing gloves on. No time to get weary. Your oil has got to last until dawn. So stick it out the best way you can. As often as you like, take refuge in his hand. He is watching you with ever so much care. He knows what you can handle. He knows what you can bear. Continue to shine, pretty mama and live each moment in his grace. Delight in his love for you. No one can ever take your place. Reverse your thinking and stay focused on him. Allow nothing to pull you from his grip. Be determined to win. 
Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you again tonight. <laughs> Bye.